Hey, thanks for watching my content. Made some content earlier today, but I want to come talk to you about after you graduate. What do you do after you graduate? And once again, I'm not talking to the top five, you know, the top 25, you know, students of, of their class. I'm talking to the C-level, you know, D-level students, the people who don't want to do academic stuff, who uh, don't want to do college. My question to you is, what are you going to do? If you don't further your academics, how do you further your skill? What are you good at? And don't tell me you just wanna just go work at a retail store, go work at a fast food restaurant, because I'm telling you, they're gonna to lead to a rabbit hole of unsuccess after five or 10 years of doing that. You're gonna realize that it's not gonna profit you as far as experience wise because you're doing the same thing over and over and over. That's kind of what business is, doing the same thing over and over, and you, st you start becoming consistent doing the same thing over and over. Cooking burgers over and over. Cooking fries in the fryer over and over. I worked at, Mc I worked at McDonald's when I was younger. I understand, that's why I'm trying to tell you. If you get into a career, young as you can, the better off you will be tell you my story when I graduated in 2001 May of 2001 somewhere in May I can't remember the exact day I think it was toward the end of May we was at Altel Arena I think McClellan class 2001 when I graduated I was working I think I was working at, at Subway it's not there no more but I think I was working at Subway but after I graduated I did not go to school I think I wanted to be a massage therapist, but I never did it. I didn't do it. I just worked jobs pretty much. Worked at fast food, and then I transitioned to working in, um, I think it was like at a car dealership, like a detail. Then I went from there to working at a tire shop, and then went from the tire shop working in a hospital, and then, uh, getting a courier job at the hospital even though you can find a career at a hospital but I never did I never explored it like being a scrub tech or being something like that never really explored it and then I was a courier for a while then I lost that job at Red Cross when I, when I went from uh, the hospital to Red Cross but what I'm trying to tell you is these jobs I had after high school if I, if I could find that old resume somewhere they didn't profit me anything nothing i think back then what 90 what 2001 i think I was, by the time i was working at the hospital maybe 2005 i think i think i was maybe bringing home six seven hundred dollars after taxes if that much and i was working seven on seven days on seven days off and i wasn't doing no with them i think i had uh 2001 monte carlo so it may have been 02 I was at the hospital. It may have been 02. So I had the Monte Carlo, 2001 Monte Carlo. Working at the hospital, had got some rims, had some 20s and everything. But I spent so much money on stuff that when I look back on it, it was all vanity. Like in the, I was telling in the Bible, Solomon saying it's all vanity. I don't even know what half of that stuff is now. I don't even, I don't even care about it, but, but I'm trying to give back to the youth is that don't get caught up in the vanity it's okay to have some fun but don't get caught up in it where that consumes the most part of your life you want to set yourself up so when you get in your 30s 40s and 50s all you're doing is just waiting on opportunities to come your way you don't have to say well I can't do that right now because I gotta finish school or I can't do that because I got to go do this. You have all that done in your 20s and you can just uh, look at opportunities and just collect in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. 
reason why I'm saying it is we got to build a community, guys. We got to reach out to our kids that's not the top tier, you know, uh, in their education, but they can be top tier in apprenticeships and trades and other things that they can do. Uh, uh, cosmetology, cutting hair. It's all kind of things you can do other than just going to college. There are many things. College is a good option as well. I'm not going to sit sit there and tell you that it's not. It just depends on what field you want to go in. And another thing is, are you willing to sacrifice what you deem is fun in order to get to a point of success where you can have a longer run of fun versus living check to check, having fun whenever you can afford it. But then most of the time, you're really trying to survive and keep your head above water. And just having fun is kind of like a getaway almost. But I want you to think about that when you graduate. Because when I graduated, you you don't have teachers, you don't have counselors, you don't have uh, people around you like you did when you was in school to kind of point you in different directions. You have to do it yourself. You have to find the information. You have to learn about you. You have to know who you are. You have to deal with you. Uh, you got to manage your time because you're not going to school anymore. So now your time, you wake up in the morning, what do you do? Are you going to research and focus on what career you want to go into? Or are you just going to sit around, play video games, and just idle, be idle with your time? I did some of that, and I'm telling you, if I could go back and talk to that Mike in the multiverse, go back and talk to that Mike, I would tell him to take, if you don't want to go to class a full load, just take one class a semester and still work full time. Get your core classes out the way. Get the English, get the science, get the communication, get all that out the way. And then by the time you get all that out the way, you can be doing the research. Then you can pick the major you want and then do the electives. But get all your core classes out the way. That way you don't even have to major. If you don't know what you want to do yet, you can you can still get your core classes out the way. And that's something I want you to think about. Don't get stuck being comfortable. I can just work this job and I can figure it out. I'm telling you from experience, a person that did that, it will lead you down a path to where you feel like you can't use that experience to go inside of a career. There's nothing worse than you working at a job and then somebody say, hey, I like I like you. You want to come work for me? And then they say, well, I need you to have this. And you're like, well, dang, I don't even have that. And now you feel like you weren't prepared for the opportunity. And if I can tell you anything, get something that enhances your skill set or validates your skill set so you can be prepared for the opportunity. Nothing worse is to not be prepared for an opportunity when it comes your way and you can't take advantage of it because you don't have the education or you don't have the skill set and you almost get stuck working at the jobs instead of going into a career. When I got into IT, I remember when I started working at the ISP place, I didn't have any experience in IT. That was my first job. And I didn't even work in IT yet. It was just pretty much just networking like routers and switches pretty much. But I can tell you from experience that working in IT as an IT support specialist, I think they call it, some people call it that, those jobs, if you can start, if you want to work in IT, start out working in those jobs and IT support specialists will give you like a broad scope and you can kind of see what you want to do. Do you want to work on servers? Do you want to work on networks? Or do you want to work in software or applications and stuff like that? Don't be afraid to expose yourself. Don't be to different fields. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. If you're not challenging yourself, that means you're being comfortable. You're staying in your comfort zone. But if you challenge yourself and you can grow, it'll lead to more success. This is Mike. I'm signing out. Like, share, subscribe. Hey, let's build a community. Let's reach back.
let's give the youth insight on stuff that we didn't get when we was coming up. Uh, comment, let me know some of the stuff you'd like to hear me talk about. Even uh, watching our podcast, what's some of the stuff you want to hear us talk about? We would love to hear the feedback. We love to hear the comments. We just want to build a community. We want to make stuff for the kids that grew up how we grew up in Southwest, in a city that wasn't the top kids in their class. And really, we just hanging out, just doing what we want to do, and then understand the importance of academics. There is an importance to academics. Now, I'm not saying take something that's just to get you to school to say I graduated. I'm saying actually learn something that's a skill set and that brings you value in the corporate marketplace. This is Mike. I'm signing out. Thanks for watching.